Time to check in with WCCO Radio's Dave Lee. Hi, Dave. Kim and Jason, I know that you've uh, chatted a little bit about it. Uh, if you're uh, in on your way to work and you see the flags lowered today, the governor asked that that be done on the state and federal buildings for the 10-year uh, commemoration of uh, the bridge collapse, which happened on the state. I remember 605, we all remember, and uh, great coverage here on CCO Radio and TV. As you recall, Jason, you were part of that. Sure. But one of the one of the things that, and I know you just had that piece on, one of the things I remember, because I was just chatting sports here on the radio, is the Twins had a game that night against yep. Kansas City at 7 o'clock, and of course the bridge went down to 605, and remember they were didn't know if they should play it or not. The teams are already out there doing batting practice. Fans were already starting to gather. And I remember the public safety officials saying, no, play the game because That's right. it would be chaotic if the traffic came out of the Metrodome. They wanted them time. to play. They wanted yeah. the game to go on just to keep, keep those fans the there. Yeah. Because as soon as that game let out, Dave, I remember uh, a lot of gawkers coming down to, uh, to take a look, which you can certainly understand why. Yeah, and then I think the next night, as I recall, they canceled or postponed that game. Right. And remember, the Vikings and the Twins both had those I-35 patches yes. uh, following that as well. So we'll, we're going to chat with the, the mayor, Mayor Ryback, about that. And then also, I think later this morning, Captain uh, Mike Martin of the Minneapolis Police Department, who's uh, very crucial is supplying information oh, in that yeah. time. Uh, Mike yeah. will be with us, too. So we'll reflect back on that 10 years ago today. But uh, it's one of those events, as you know, you remember where you were. Boy, everybody has a story, and it, yeah. it does uh, remind you of how random life can be. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you left work a minute early, maybe you were on the bridge or off the bridge, or if you left a little late, it, I think it's really uh, amazing. You just, you never know. You have to live each day uh, to the fullest. I th uh, as I recall, I think Flip Saunders told me one time that he was like uh, second or third car back off of the bridge, stuck right there, and, and uh, just a few seconds would have made a difference there as well. So, yeah. yeah, I'm sure there's a ton of stories like that. But today's the day we reflect on that. So Very, very good. Thanks, Dave. See you guys. See so, ya. Yeah, if you're heading to work, you can hear Dave Lee on WCCOAM 830 until 9 a.m.